place where I'm sitting is very special. I'm actually sitting just inside of a cave that is known as the Eremos Cave. And this cave is right on the northern shore of the Galilee. The bell that you can hear chiming right now comes from a church that is called the Primacy of Peter. That is a very special place that is in the area that was known as Tabcha. This is a place where there were a lot of springs and they were warm salty springs that the fish were very attracted to. And we know that our Messiah was a fisher of man and that he chose to reach out to the fishermen who were in this area. There used to be a little port in this area and stairs coming out of the water. And we can actually still see them today and they date from the time of our Messiah Yeshua. But this mountain that I'm sitting on and that this cave is located inside also represents something else. Traditionally, this mountain is known as the Mount of Beatitudes. And historically, there have been churches here that have commemorated. First, they commemorated at the bottom of the mountain. And then later, in the modern day period, a church was placed at the top. And there is actually quite convincing proof that this really was the mountain where Yeshua spoke the Beatitudes. But I want you to imagine for a moment Yeshua in his humanity. Of course, he was also divine. But imagine for a moment that John the Baptist has been beheaded and he's his cousin and he must have had emotion connected with that. And he's been ministering to people on the water, off of the water. And for just a moment, he wants to come up away from the crowds just to be alone. There is some suggestion that this may have been a place where he came to, but even if he didn't come exactly here, it can give us that idea or that impression of him just simply wanting to be alone. Maybe he wanted to weep and to grieve. Maybe he wanted to process. Maybe he wanted to prepare for the next thing that he was going to do, because actually the very next thing that he did was to go and to multiply the food for the thousands who had gathered to hear him speak in this area.